Hello again. Welcome to another Website Depot podcast. As ever, I'm your host, Greg Benevent. Uh, today, we're here with some very special guests and clients of ours that are going to take us through some really wonderful gifts that you could give to the people in your life, and also, as ever, that you could also give to yourself. Uh, without taking a lot more time, I'd like to introduce the people from Malibu Gift, Brad and Vicki. Good morning, Brad and Vicki. How are you doing today? Good morning. Good. Thank you. How are you? I'm good. Great. I'm good. Thank in. you for having us. Oh, of course. No, I'm glad to have you. This is, you, you folks fascinate me uh, looking at your site. So yeah, just to get us all a bit up to speed, if you could say uh, a little bit about, you know, where you, uh, you're both your backgrounds, what Malibu Gift does, that kind of thing. That'd be great. Sure. Brad, I'll let um, you start. Okay. Um, so let's see. Uh, my background a little bit is um, uh, born and raised in uh, retail and apparel, um, mostly fashion, uh, merchandising, design uh, for vertical brands, uh, for luxury brands, uh, lived throughout uh, Canada, the U.S., East Coast, New York, etc. And uh, this whole idea for Malibu Gift uh, kind of came up as, you know, throughout our busy lives, traveling, working very hard during the holiday time period and special occasions, when we couldn't be close to our family, uh, you know, we wanted to send gifts. Um, so family and friends would receive gifts from us during all types of special occasions, just, you know, as a reminder that we're still part of their lives, we're still part of uh, their celebration, we just can't be with them. Um, so that's how the whole idea was born. The, uh, the idea of gourmet food is something that everybody loves, something that we relate to, um, especially after traveling as much as both Vicki and I have. Uh, we've had great food from great places and, you know, that idea of luxurious food and being able to give it as a gift uh, during any occasion, birthday, holiday, uh, celebration. We just got an order from Saudi Arabia to be shipped to somebody in the U.S. for the uh, for, for the Muslim holiday, so there's there's uh, all types of things and all types of reasons for this um, and for us doing this. Um, and you know, you turn into this whole COVID nineteen thing, and people can't be together to celebrate anymore. So the idea of being able to give a gift, being able to give a luxurious treat for uh, you know for any occasion or just thinking of you is is uh, become that much more important today. So mm -hmm. we think the relevancy is very, it's right on, we think. Certainly. Vicki? So I, I come from more of a business background um, and my brother and I, uh, like he had said, had, tra had traveled both around the world um, for most of our careers. And I always enjoyed finding unique things um, that I could bring back home or that I could, um, you know, send to somebody. And it's kind of interesting. I, wherever we traveled, I kind of looked for things that that particular area was known for. Um, we lived in Italy for a little while, so chocolate and coffee were huge. Um, you know, we've traveled to South America, so wine and those kinds of things are important. So whenever we would travel, we would just, you know, grab things that were unique and thought it would be interesting to kind of share as you know, as Brad indicated, from our travels and our experiences, things that people might enjoy giving to one another. So that's kind of how it, how it transpired. Uh, Brad comes from the retail and merchandising, and I come from more of the business background. Oh. So those units, you know, those two things combined kind of just made sense. And it's, it's kind of something we've talked about for a long time, and now we're kind of living it. No, that, that makes perfect sense. That's great. Uh, speaking of the food, I, I wanted to get into it with you. I, you know, at, looking at your site, I see the, uh, uh, the gourmet popcorn, the caramel popcorn with the chocolate on it, and it's, and, it's, and it's healthy. And I thought like, ah, that can't be right. That can't be a healthy snack. And I looked it up. It absolutely is. I, I, I'd love to hear more of you guys talk about that because that just fascinates me. Well, I wouldn't exactly say that the coatings are the most healthy thing in the world. but. <laughs> The base product is, you know, mm -hmm. I mean, there's something about, um, uh, there's something about corn, uh, there's something about the, the, the staple of corn in everyday life. People don't understand how it's used and how it is involved in almost every sort of food product. Um, 
you know, I was going to say process, but not necessarily process, but every sort of food product that's manufactured. So um, the idea of, of corn uh, being a healthy treat certainly is true uh, where it starts. Um, you know, corn oil, things like that down, down the line isn't always, you know, the byproducts aren't always, aren't always healthy. Yeah. The, the idea of, um, of natural gifts for us was, um, you know, that, that is important to us. Um, the idea of non-processed uh, foods, um, you know, uh, I think the idea of luxury, the idea of quality, the idea of simplicity, those things together with great products um, or with great ingredients create great products. So it just becomes an easy thing to say uh, it's healthy and natural because the ingredients are healthy and natural. Now, you know, there are those foods that go outside of the box, you know, I mean, who eats chocolate covered popcorn? There are a few people, believe it or not. Um, you know, and chocolate covered popcorn is caramel popcorn covered in chocolate. So, you know, the base three times prior was very healthy. Uh, what let me, let me just add to that, that one of the things that people talk about with corn, because it is such, it's so, so the staple. You know, just voluminously consumed in the U.S. Mm -hmm. One of the things that um, people talk about is GMO. Mm -hmm. And the popcorn that we use is non-GMO, so that's oh. important. That's oh. also um, a better product to, um, to purchase, both from a sustainability uh, perspective and also healthy. Mm -hmm. It's healthier. I shouldn't say it's like the thing that's the most healthy you can eat, but it is <laughs> healthier. Mm -hmm. And that's what we try to go, that's, those are the kinds of products that we try to look for. Um, I wouldn't say they're part of the four food groups, right. but there are healthier ways to eat things. And that's, that's kind of what we're looking for in our products mm -hmm. to share that are very, very good. So, Yeah, there was another word you, you wanted to understand too about, uh, a little bit about, I think, was sustainability, right? Yes, I was literally going to ask about that next, but please jump into that. That, that fascinates yeah. me too. Well, the idea of sustainability is, you know, things that, things that can be reused. Um, and I think timing is everything. And the vintage products is something that we started out with. Uh, there, in the past, there's been uh, some great, great value um, during certain time periods with vintage products. Um, we have some experience with that business, with that kind of business as well. So we started to offer, um, and define, you know, reused products of value, by the way, as sustainable. And it's, it falls right in line with the definition. There are those things um, uh, that typically are related to food. You know, we have vintage salt, pepper shakers, things like that. We're waiting to, um, waiting to sort of curate the food a little bit more. And then the sustainable piece of, um, of the gifting uh, will get blown out uh, very quickly. We're looking at all types of things. I mean, there are, I mean, for Father's Day, there are, <laughs> you're going to think it's kind of crazy, but vintage tools. Um, That's not crazy at all. Pieces, <laughs> My old man would have loved that. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> you know, I mean, there's great businesses to look at too, you know, like man crates, things like that. They, they do those types of products, but they're not authentic and they're not, they're not original oh. and they're not vintage and they're not sustainable. They're recreations. Oh. So our idea is, you know, listen, this is truly sustainable, reused, vintage, um, collectible product and items um, that diverges, uh, you know, from the food into what we call our sustainable category. The other thing that we've done with sustainable uh, products is, you know, when back in 2008, when the financial crisis happened, um, you know, I'm a merchant and I understood crazy things happened consumption patterns changed. People started purchasing planting seeds, vegetable seeds like crazy. You couldn't buy them back in 2008. Wow. Okay. And I know, I knew that because first thing we did was wanted to plant a garden. I, uh -huh. I don't know what that is, but it's human nature, whatever it might be. Right. And so, uh, you know, crisis comes up again. We, you know, we have gift boxes, the sustainable um, seed gift box um, is something that, you know, we like as an item because it's a it's sustainable you know b it is it, uh, healthy food natural homegrown food and it's something that can be um, curated and and enjoyed and and watched you know i mean you give a gift and it keeps on giving as it grows right. uh, 
sitting next to your counter, sitting on your counter, sitting at your kitchen sink, whatever it might be. So that's the sustainable thing. What else, Vicki? So when you think about sustainability too, from a, from a food perspective, it comes with the farming and how they farm. So, oh. um, you know, that's why we look for products that are more natural, that are non-GMO, that are organic when possible, because all those things, those little, those little efforts help with sustainability in, in the world. So those are things that we're looking for as well. And while our products may not be, there might be some products that are not a hundred percent organic. When we try to, um, get them produced, we always look for organic first. Mm -hmm. And if not all the products can be organic, we're doing what we can to make sure that the ingredients that can be organic are, even though we can't label them as all organic. So, or sustainable or non-GMO, but that's the first thing that we're looking at. So we're using the, the best ingredients that we can uh, while thinking about a number of different things, the, the health aspect, the sustainability aspect, and you know, what's the best for our bodies in our environment. Mm -hmm. While, so while still enjoying something that, you know, it's, it's a treat. <laughs> right, this is something you're gonna enjoy. Uh, right. The sustainability is all of good, but it also is delicious too. So right. that's gonna go a long yeah. way. That helps, that helps. <laughs> Yeah. It, uh, yeah, I mean, it's something interesting. Uh, uh, Brad mentioned there about how, you know, with the, the Father's Day and the vintage tools, you know, I, I've written some of the blogs for you. And, and I, I remember going through your products and thinking like, okay, you know, which products here would be great to give it gifts. And as I would go through it, I was struck by the fact that like, you could give gifts from your site of all different kinds to essentially anybody. For right. like any occasion you were looking for, I'd love to hear you say a little bit more about that because that just blew my mind when I was going through your site. Well, the, the, the biggest gifts that people give are obviously birthdays, anniversaries, holidays, those kinds of things. But, you know, I mean, what's interesting too is during this, this pandemic or this situation that we've got going on that's, you know, struck the world, most people are just thinking of each other and trying to figure out how to lift spirits and, um, and so we've had a lot of gifts that have been sold that are just thinking of you or some don't even send a message. They're just like, we just want to lift their spirits. And so, you know, it, it's kind of interesting. Um, but, you know, obviously the, the bigger, the bigger um, occasions, which obviously anniversaries, birthdays, graduations, you know, anything, every month there is an event that's taking place. Mardi Gras, you know, um, St. Patrick's holidays. Day, all of them. All the holidays. Yeah. Clients as well for client-based businesses. We have uh, a couple of good, uh, good customers with large client base, uh, accountants, CPAs, uh, CFPs, um, real estate lawyers, agents. real estate agents um, who are, who gift when a transaction is done. You know they'll gift, uh, they'll gift their clients. Uh, same thing with you know with the whole accounting business. Um, yeah, just a thank you. Uh, you know, appreciate your business. Appreciate thank you very much. Exactly. Exactly. No, I mean, that, that, that makes that makes so much sense. And I was looking through it. So it's so you have all these different uh, 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 food gifts. I mean, it's it's, you know, each of them delicious in their own different way. What what are your favorites? Like of all the different food stuff, you know, the two of you, what, what, what are you like? This is the thing I eat the most or I give the most. Uh, where are the two of you on that? Uh, I can't stop eating the popcorn, and, and, it's, <laughs> and, it, and it's where it, it's where it all started. It, I mean, it's the best caramel popcorn uh we've ever i've ever had and it's it's addictive i mean and and, and vicky vicky can explain how it's made and and what the ingredients are but i mean simple and amazing i mean, just amazingly addictive and that's not necessarily a good thing but um <laughs> you know and, and i'm a i'm a big chocolate fan i mean i, I think i'm a fan of everything i mean uh, otherwise otherwise i don't think it would be on there right i right. mean uh well. That makes it's, sense. The chocolates are terrific. I mean, the cookies are, I mean, how can you say no to all that stuff? Right. And there's vegan options and all that stuff. So, all right, I said mine. You, you, Vicky, who? What? <laughs> so I, I would have to say my number one is the salted caramel popcorn. It's my okay. favorite. Yeah. <laughs> and what's interesting is the perspective that we get from the vegan options is that um, people can't tell the difference. They're like, ah. this is the best popcorn we've ever had. And it's vegan and we love it. Um, I can't really taste the difference either, but I'm not a vegan, so I don't know that I would know the difference um, or be able to taste the difference. But I also, my favorite 
thing on the site is obviously the treats, but I'm a coffee person. So mm. I love our coffees. Mm. You know, we've, we specifically curated coffees from um, roasters that we, in countries that we um, admire and appreciate and have a love of, of real love and special interest in coffee. So um, that's, that I would have to say that's probably my number one uh, because it's something that I have every day. It's gotcha. not something that I just treat myself to. So I have coffee every single day. Look behind you. Is that an espresso machine? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I didn't even notice that until you said so. <laughs> yes, that's. <laughs> Close your cupboard. <laughs> oh. Wow. wow. <laughs> <laughs> there, You're on camera. That's what it looks like now. <laughs> it, uh, no, that, 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 I, I didn't even know that was an espresso. I thought it was some kind of ice cream maker. I mean, that thing is ornate. Yeah. Look at that. And wow. to be honest with you, this is really sad. Uh -huh. All I've been able to do this morning is make my son and my husband coffee. I haven't even had one. Oh, jeez. <laughs> oh, no. I had to get it made for them so they could get out the door. <laughs> so the favorite coffee is SoCal blend, right? I mean, yep. which blend is your SoCal and why? Because mm -hmm. it's mine too. Yeah. Uh, well, the SoCal blend is, is really kind of the best of all the different notes that we're looking for. So it's smooth. It's um, got chocolate notes. It's, mm -hmm. you know, it's not bitter. It, it's really, really nice. And so we've taken the best of the notes that we know come from different countries and blended them together. And it's a mm -hmm. medium roast. So it, it really kind of um, is attractive to most palates. There's some people that really like super dark, you know. We um, have that. Yeah, well roasted, like in your face, bold coffees. I prefer a little more mild and, um, yeah. you know, middle of the road. And so that's what this mm -hmm. is. So SoCal blend. That's the SoCal blend. And then we've got, uh, what else? we've got two other blends, the dark. We've got a uh, Euro blend, um, which is more of the, the darker notes. Mm -hmm. And then we have a South American blend, which is kind of more of the chocolate notes. They mm -hmm. tend to do more chocolate in South America. Mm -hmm. Okay. And, uh, yeah, no, I mean, I, I, I too would go for the milder thing. I, 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 mm -hmm. I never was into the darkest of the coffees. It, um, so yeah, so that, that it, you guys mentioned a little bit touching on the chocolate there. I mean, I'm, I'm a person that, you know, as, as I get older is starting to uh, uh, experiment and get into wine. And I was fascinated mm -hmm. by uh, the truffles on your site there too, if you could mm -hmm. say, because that's something I'm just starting to discover. So if you kind of take me through that a little bit, I I'd love to hear more mm -hmm. about those as well. Sure. Um, the truffles, uh, you know, gourmet chocolate is huge, right? I mean, especially in a gifting and occasion gifting uh, business, it's very big. Uh, lots, of, uh, lots of people to emulate, model after out there, things like that. But um, Vicky and I did a lot of research on the best chocolate. We, we went to many different shows, many different um, uh, events, and we found, uh, we found what we would consider the best chocolate for a number of reasons. One is it's a truffle. Um, two is it's not, <laughs> this is gonna sound strange to start with, but the size of the truffle is perfect size. Yeah. Um, and I mean, cause sometimes truffles can be too big, et cetera, et cetera. So, um, so what we did was we went out and we found the best gourmet chocolate, uh, the best gourmet chocolatier to help us uh, come up with an assortment of chocolates that, of truffles that um, I, are just amazing. Now, we've added a couple of things. We've understood that some of the um, sophisticated flavors that we've had probably um, are a little too sophisticated. We have an orange vodka um, a flavor. We've got... Um, we actually have a vegan peanut butter. We have uh, pumpkin spice a coke. latte. Wow. Yeah, pu oh, pumpkin spice la latte, mm -hmm. and and all of those. But um, you know, I think that uh, Vicky and I are going to uh, take a hard look at expanding that category. It's oh. uh, it's been very good for us. Mm -hmm. um, we have you know shipping is shipping chocolate during the summer is an interesting uh, is an interesting thing to try to overcome. I bet. But that that piece of the business is is very good um, and is, has been the number one item on the whole site. It's wow. been the number one. Wow. So, um, you know, as much as caramel popcorn is as addictive and coffee as well, I mean, 
something else is number one. So that that uh, that's going to lead us to do a little more development there in that whole that whole category of business. And then and then to go to you know what you were just talking about, Greg, with the wine. Um, mm -hmm. You know, right. it's it's not easy. You it's you cannot sell wine online. Mm. Um, there's a lot of a lot of regulations to it. Right, but. but we both enjoy wine a great deal. In fact, um, I just came back from Paso over Memorial Weekend, and Paso Robles is one of my favorite places to go. But so we we enjoy wine, and we thought, okay, well, what can we do outside of selling the actual wine itself? Mm -hmm. And so. So that's where the ideas of the wine glasses and the wine pours came in. Um, I happen to enjoy red wine. Um, mm. So it's important to aerate wine. Okay. And the new idea is, you know, they used to have these gigantic decanters that you would have to pour the whole bottle in. And then you would have to, you know, mix it around and get the air in there. And then at the end of the day, you couldn't do that just for one glass of wine because then it <laughs> out, right? Right. So they came up with these wine pours and I, I really started seeing them probably about 10 years ago. Mm -hmm. And we found a manufacturer that just has these beautiful wine pours. And while you pour the wine, it aerates it. Mm. So there's no need to sit there and pour it in a decanter and then waste that wine if you want one glass of wine. And they're really beautiful. There's we have all kinds of different ones. We have, they're, pu they're made out of pewter and stainless steel and they're mermaids and, you know, different types of fish and birds and dogs and all kinds of things. Um, and while you're pouring it, it's beautiful and you're aerating your wine at the same time wow. and you can pour it by glass. If you don't want to, you just want to have one glass, you pour a glass, you either leave the wine pour in there, which you can do, or you can put a wine stopper in there and you haven't wasted any wine. So they're really unique and they're very interesting. Uh -huh. And you pour the wine as you're tasting the chocolates because the truffles were developed for the wine. Oh. So when you, when you read, uh, one of the reasons we went to this chocolatier and uh -huh. we, we, we use this gentleman to help us produce our product is because he also is producing all of the chocolates for all of the wineries that he sells to. Um, that he has manufactured to pair with the wines. So he right. goes and he works, goes in and he works with the wineries on their wines, their blends, and then he'll manufacture the chocolate to go with them. Well, we benefit from that because you know we're also doing the same thing, and you know he he's become our supplier. So, you know we've the thread through. I mean, it might not seem like it, and you're asking the right questions to drive us back to it. But there's a thread throughout the whole site. Right. I you was going to get to that in a minute. Yes. <laughs> yeah. So that, you know, that, that thread happens to be chocolate goes very well with wine and with the, with, with most wines, um, each chocolate has been paired to go with. So it's, it's, it's good stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, I, I just to figure back on that. And, and this is the last question and we'll let you get out of here is that I, I have been so struck by during our conversation today about how, you know, there is, like you mentioned, there is that through line about here's, here's the, here's, you know, the, the foods and these snacks and these gifts, but the luxurious version of them, the gourmet version of them. Here's yeah. the tools and, and, and the vintage stuff, but it's the sustainable version of it. It's, mm -hmm. it's these might be, these are things that, hey, maybe you've seen them before, but you haven't seen them quite to this caliber. And, right. and the last little thing, if you could say a little bit about that or anything else you'd like to say, that'd be a great way to put a bow on this. I, I would just say that, um, it's interesting because every product that we put on the site, there's, there's, a, a, there's, pretty, there's a lot of thought that goes into it. And there's a lot of experience that's gone into it as well. It's not like we put products on there that, that we haven't tried or truly love ourselves. That's the bottom line. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And I think that this has been, uh, this whole business, I mean, when you kind of think about it, it's, it's the best, right? It's, a, it's gourmet food. Who loves that? It's an online business. Who, who doesn't believe in that? And, you know, you get to be a part of a celebration. Right. And, you know, you get, to, you, get to make, you get to help make someone happy. Yeah. Um, I mean, it's, a, it's, it's kind of a, it's a better business model than going in and punching a clock. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're not going to top that for an outline. Uh, exactly. it, 
if any of you, uh, yeah, please check out the site at malibugift.com. You will find all kinds of great gifts and, and, and frankly, plenty of great gifts for yourself as well. Uh, so, yeah, that's going to do it for us today. Thank you guys again so much for coming out to talk Rick, to us. Thank not you. Coming out, I mean, logging in, but we're going to keep using verbs that imply movement. Thank you for logging in. <laughs> and uh, on behalf of uh, our website, Depot, and uh, uh, my name is Greg Benevent. Thank you very much. Take it easy and have a good day. Thank you. Thank you.